Hey guys, it's Asish here, and today I'll be talking about how I received my Java certification in under one month at the age of 16. To break it down, I will be explaining what Java certification is, the various materials I used to prepare for this test, the testing procedure, and finally the post-exam procedures. The Java SE8 Associate Certification is a certification test offered by Oracle and helps you build a foundational understanding of Java. To receive this certification, you need to take and pass the Java SE8 Programmer 1 exam, code number 1Z0808. Since Oracle owns the Java SE platform, Receiving an Oracle certification demonstrates and legitimizes accurate understanding of Java concepts. The test is two and a half hours long and consists of 70 multiple choice questions. To pass this test, you need to receive a score of 65% or more. This equates to a minimum of 46 questions answered correctly and a maximum of 24 questions answered incorrectly. Although you may retake this test any number of times, the test costs $245, so I suggest preparing well before taking the test for the first time. Although it only took a few weeks of serious preparation to pass this exam, I was fairly familiar with the Java language as I used it in multiple projects in the past. There are many free online resources that you can use to study for this test, but I believe that the most helpful resource for me was a course on Udemy. This course consists of six practice exams, which was really helpful because I could retake them any number of times. These tests were also dynamic, so the questions changed every time I retook them. At the end of the practice test, it would explain what I got wrong with references to the Java documentation on Oracle's website. For those wondering, I will link the Udemy course in the description box down below. This test can be scheduled on Oracle's website using their third-party service, Pearson View. On Pearson View, you have an option to either take the test in person or online. Regardless of which method you choose to take this exam, this is a proctored test, so there will be a person monitoring you while you take your test to certify that the results are legitimate. Due to the pandemic, I chose to take this test remotely. Here's how my experience went. After scheduling my test appointment, I was prompted to download Pearson View's lockdown browser called OnView. OnView prevents your computer from opening any other app while in use. 30 minutes before my test appointment, I checked into the OnView app using a key that they gave me in my email when I scheduled my test. I was required to submit pictures of my government issued ID as well as pictures of my workstation. When the test started, my camera and microphone were required to be on and I was also required to position myself in a way that my entire face could be seen through the webcam. You are not allowed to use a pencil and paper for this test, however there is a whiteboard option on the OnView app. After the Terms of Service Agreement and Identity check, my proctor started the exam. I was given two and a half hours to complete 70 questions. Two and a half hours is a generous amount of time as I finished the test with 45 minutes remaining. After checking my work, I finally submitted my test. The good thing about online proctor tests is that the results come out almost immediately. 30 minutes after I completed the test, I received an email on how to view my results. Not only did it show me my passing score, it also showed me questions that I missed and concepts that might need further review. Within a couple days, I received an email from Oracle with my Oracle Java SE8 Programmer 1 badge. This badge and credential can be added to your LinkedIn and could be shared via Twitter or Facebook. So there you have it. That's my experience taking the Oracle Java SE8 Programmer 1 test if you have any questions, comment them down below and I'd be happy to answer them. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later.